disgusting. Guys, thank you for watching Franco TV. So today, I've made it back to one of the most amazing but yet dangerous locations I have been to. I am back in New Orleans, where it has one of the most creepiest haunted graveyards that you could possibly find out here. However, the crime rate is severely high. At this current moment, I'm in a safe location, but I am going to make my way to the most dangerous part, and also for what looks like apparitions that could be seen going from tomb to tomb. This could be anything. However, I'm down to explore it tonight, so that being said, let's get into the video. Look how dark this place is. It's been a minute since I've been down here, but this has got to be one of my the most favorite graveyards that I haven't been to in a while. Oh my God, it's so dark. There we go. Now I think over here, there's actually a creepy picture. Um, I always show it because it's one of the most creepiest pictures I've seen in a while. But it's one of, uh, of a baby with a creepy bunny. Let's see if it's still in here. Is it in here? You guys remember this picture? <laughs> I love it, but it's the bunny that makes this picture epic. A lot of people tend to sleep in these locations and some of them are usually running from the law, from committing some sort of act, whatever it could be. And they'll come here to hide because a lot of police officers don't come into graveyards uh, exploring it or making sure it's still safe. So they would hide here and then during the daytime they'll go out and probably try to get some food or something. But that's what makes these areas the most dangerous because you're vulnerable, super vulnerable. So always come armed or with people. Mostly with people is better. Let's keep going. I wanted to check out this one mausoleum real quick before I head to the big area. The big area is where it gets dangerous. Here I kind of feel a little bit more comfortable uh, with the lights on. It's open. Yeah, there's probably gonna be a lot of cockroaches here hiding inside the, the bushes. Something's moving in the bushes, but I heard something else. What the hell is that? It's probably a big rat. <laughs> I can't see it.
The door closed. I did touch it when I went in. Oh, that was creepy. I'm gonna leave it open again, see if it closes again. I now made it to North Corridor A. In this specific area, there could be people sleeping, so I don't wanna go too loud, possibly wake someone up. Oh, I think those are, uh, I think those are a bouquet of flowers. Jesus, I thought that was somebody just randomly standing there. See? Now, I have came through here with night vision before. <laughs> it's freaking terrifying. Someone recently just got buried in this building. Holy crap. Oh, this is one of the creepy buildings here as well. I might come back here. I don't know. We got a lot to explore and this is just the beginning. recording with my regular camera and I just heard what sounded like a voice coming from the other mausoleum here so I turned off all my camera lights and I'm looking but through the night vision it looks like there's a candle on um, again I'm in an open area it could be the sounds echoing but there is a candle coming from the mausoleum here but I don't see anybody no cars or anything look that's the mausoleum And there's a candle towards the side right of it. I'm trying to see if I can focus in on it. There we go. That's what. Holy shit. There's somebody in there. Holy shit. definitely be homeless people. I'm looking around and there's not a single car anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my IR lights now. All right. Probably not gonna go in from the front. Because if I walk in right there, they're easily going to see me. But from this side, I have an advantage. I don't know if they already 
he saw me or not. Here, I'm gonna turn off my IRR lights, see if I see any lights. There was a candle on right in front of me. to go in any closer because there was clearly a fire or some sort of candle that was on. Um, I'm going to get out of this general location because I don't want to cause any problems. If someone is sleeping there, me showing up might just scare the hell out of them. Right now I'm still looking and I don't see anything on anymore. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my IRs. As you can see it is pitch black. Holy shit, that was perfect timing. I was literally just about to go inside. Especially I heard noises going on. So there's someone inside this building or something. I am a lot further into the graveyard now. I'm still making my way in to, uh, to the dangerous part. I guess I'm like, I'm danger orange. <laughs> Right now, I've got to come up with like cool code words for it. Down there's the main roadway, which I want to avoid because the moment if I bring a truck in from that area, whoever's in that area over there is going to see my lights reflecting, especially if their pupils are already dilated. They'll see any kind of light. This is the area where you usually start seeing a lot of the voodoo stuff. They'll leave around. I think this is probably Mardi Gras. beyond tombs. Look at this. Anywhere I turn, it's just mausoleums after mausoleums. So for a split second, I thought this was a person. What I'm doing right now isn't really that safe. But I don't want you guys just watching night vision footage the entire time. <laughs> kind of want to give you guys something to look at. But look at this mausoleum. J.V. Harvington. I guess that's bronze. Look at the pennies. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, I'm kind of traveling a little bit through behind the mausoleums. But if you look up there, you can see a lot more. You can see what looks like kind of castle stuff up there. But besides that one mausoleum I went to, I haven't seen anything, I've just heard stuff from a distance. Just trying to be as cautious as I can because I don't have anyone with me this time. Holy crap. Look how beautiful they are. I am now coming across a uh I think that's a mausoleum. Um, I'm gonna probably check it out. I still even haven't made it to where I was trying to get to, but I wanna see what this is first before I even kinda continue going on to there. But it looks like a bigger mausoleum type thing. I just hope it doesn't start raining because the clouds are coming in pretty quick. But that's from another building. This is where it gets uh, kind of creepy. The mausoleum is right up through there. I can barely see it.
I made it to the mausoleum. Look at the size of this place. There is no light, so it's pretty much just hidden here in the dark. See, I got a lot of cover here, so I could probably use my light. And switch over to my other camera. I just heard something. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Oh my god, it stinks in here. go ahead and switch over to my other camera because I kind of want to see with my own eyes there's a lot of stuff here and it stinks I literally heard somebody saying hello or something but there's houses oh my god I'm freaking myself out there's houses like not too far behind this building so I don't know if it came from that but it sounded like it came from in here switch. I don't even want to say hello back. Switched over to my other camera. I am going to go ahead and use the rim pod before I go inside. I always like to bring the sensitivity up. If there's someone in here that was calling or saying something like a hello. Can you come close to the rim pod? I just want to know if that's a ghost. Or a person. And I also have It sounds echo through here, so it scares the hell out of me. I don't know what's what. The humidity's starting to kick in now. Is there someone that would like to talk with me or was trying to get my attention?
just let me know. There is someone's hat here. Unless someone passed away, it almost looks like mine. Anyone that would like to communicate with me, just go next to the little red light. Wave your hand next to the little antenna, and I'll know that you were calling me. I just want to make sure that what I heard wasn't someone else. Hello? I got a temperature change on the room pod. Just a temperature change. I keep feeling like I'm gonna see something staring at me through the doors. But you see that little red light? It means it got colder. Look at how disgusting this door is. is filled with just oh. that's disgusting and it stinks really bad in here in fact I'm gonna probably cover my nose everywhere. Oh, that looked like a black widow. There are spiders all over this room. Some of the tombs are kind of opened. If you guys know what the purpose is for this back area, let me know in the comments. I, I'm not too quite sure. I think these have been broken into before. And so they put tape around it, sealing it back up. But there is this. What's that?